Bournemouth might be best known as a thriving seafront town, however its conferences and events scene is quietly making it a great destination for organisers. It's just two hours away from London on the train, which I took this morning, but it also has great venues. The Bournemouth International Centre can host up to 10,000 delegates at events from stand-up to music events to conferences, it's got the lot. And then we go all the way to the Vitality Stadium, the home of AFC Bournemouth, which can also host conferences and meetings at your pleasure. With all that in mind, Bournemouth might just be your next events destination. Okay, Simon, so uh, kicking off, thank you for joining me. Uh, I guess introduce yourself, who, you're, who are you, what do you do? Yeah, I'm Simon Richards. We look after the accommodation service for business events Bournemouth. Wonderful. So I guess that leads me very well into kind of my first big question. You know, you've got a broad range of events that come to Bournemouth, small, big, political, etc. What's the appeal for organisers coming to Bournemouth? I think they regard Bournemouth as a really safe and attractive southern destination particularly for organizations that that mix between north and south bournemouth has a really good vibe about it it's as i say it's safe it's got a, a nice feel it's got restaurants it's got the natural resources obviously which allow them to bring in some of the the more unusual beach cleaning enterprises and that sort of thing but it has everything you can imagine and it's also very commutable um, airports very close by motorways close by and of course the new forest so for incentives for partner programs and for other sorts of events they can mix those in and make it a more fulfilling event when they when they actually arrive amazing so i guess from looking back to looking forward what do you think the next step is for conferences in bournemouth what's what's the next big push for you guys well, I think that they're increasing. We're certainly getting a big part of the UK market. I think people are dis rediscovering Bournemouth, should I say, rather than discovering it. Lots of people know Bournemouth, um, but we're shedding that old fashioned view because of the quality of the accommodation and services that we offer. I think the standard of service that's provided by everybody involved in the hospitality industry and in the, in the town is of a really high standard and people are really trying to achieve even higher standards. As I say, we've got hotels that are now committing to much higher star ratings, better standard of service for staff. They're trying to attract apprentices into the industry. Of course, we've got the university here. So it's providing a, a, a real bedrock for those people to come into the industry. And I think as an as a industry as a whole, we are faced with a challenge as to what we do with staffing in the future and making it an attractive career rather than just a stopgap job. And that's happening in the, in the town, most certainly. Incentive travel is massive here in Bournemouth. There's the pier behind me with its zip line, which unfortunately I'm too cowardly to go on. But the main point is that for conference goers, it's not just going to be the event, it's going to be the restaurants, the bars, it's going to be the incentives around. There's so much to do here in Bournemouth that's going to be a great add-on for any event. So, we're in Bobby's, and it's, it's a bit of a time warp, really, because Bobby's was the name of the original department store way back in the early 1920s um, on this site. Um, and then Debenhams took over the building, and then, of course, the woes and challenges of department stores across the UK were well documented. So the building was bought by the current owners, and they just turned it back so outside is very reminiscent of what the original Bobby's department store looked like back in 1920. So we're in the middle of what is almost a unique building. Obviously it's a staple for those who visit, as you were just saying. It is, it, yeah. it, it's a, it's a, I guess, a, becoming an iconic place for people who might come here for a conference. So obviously we are talking about kind of the conference yeah. and events business. So I guess put that in context for me. Why is a place like Bobby's and the, the town centre in, in general really, why is that a sell point for conference goers? 
as a regular conference goer, <laughs> and it's historically a regular conference goer, one of the things I've always thought is that the value of a conference is not just about what happens in the conference hall. It's not just about those, speak those main keynote speakers, as important as they are. It's about often what happens in and around that conference. When you go for the coffee before the conference starts, or when you come out for lunch, or you have um, evening fringe meetings within various venues or restaurants or cafes um, or, or other hotels, for example. Um, we are lucky and blessed that in the town centre we've got some fantastic cafes, some fantastic restaurants, some great opportunities in terms of open spaces as well within the town centre for that, for that kind of interaction to happen. Um, and I know myself, mo a lot of the time I've come away from conferences and it's been that conversation over coffee where suddenly the pennies dropped or the light bulb has gone on to be very cliche about it. But those are the kind of things that you often come away with from conferences. So our conference facilities in Bournemouth, whether it's the BIC, whether it's a number of other hotels and so forth, and right across the conurbation as well, um, we can pretty much do anything, is the honest answer. Um, but in the town centre specifically, when you have something as iconic as Bobby's, um, that's a draw and is a place where you can come and sit down and have a glass of champagne, some sushi, or you can go to the other restaurants and cafes that, that proliferate right the way through the town centre. We're lucky we're to be able to say, come down and have your conference, then can you come out and go, go out to a great club? Yeah, you can. Can you eat well? Yeah, you can. Can you have a great cup of coffee? Yeah, you can. And by the way, there's a huge amount of choice for you to do that as well. So my name is Michelle, I'm the Events and Conferences Manager at Bournemouth Uni. So particularly for our larger conferences, so the academic conferences that I spoke about, we, um, we try to send our conference dinners to local venues, local hotels and restaurants. Um, so there's some that we have quite strong links with, others that we use kind of ad hoc. Um, but that's probably the main, the main link is trying to encourage our visitors to use local hotels and restaurants um, when they're staying in Bournemouth. You talk about the facilities that mm -hmm. you have in the actual lecture hall. Yeah. Um, and the big thing that's going on, at least in our industry, is hybrid slash mm -hmm. virtual. Yeah. And I guess you'll have a lot of experience with that at yeah. the university, right? Because, yeah. I mean, for the past two years, a lot of it's been online. So, yeah. I guess, how does that translate to your external business, that experience um, in virtual? So, all of our, our rooms have cameras built in. Mm -hmm. So, um, even our smaller seminar rooms have cameras built in. So, if somebody wants to come on and do a, a Zoom, event, a hybrid event, um, then it's it's kind of built into the room. So we'd give them kind of some support. They'd run the online side of things, but we have the equipment for them to do that without having to bring in loads of extra, um, which I think is really good, it's really positive, and it's worked really well for our internal conferences as well. Um, so as a team, we're, we're quite used to hybrid. Good. And actually just purely online events as well. We've, we've done a lot of those, as you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> have you had more demand for that kind of thing since the pandemic? Actually, we were talking yesterday and it really peaked and it's kind of dropped off again um, recently. So we've got a couple coming up this side of Christmas, um, but compared to where we were this time last year, um, even over the summer, it's really kind of fizzled out into the demand internally for hybrid has definitely reduced, which is kind of interesting, but it's, I don't think it's ever going to go away. So it's clear that Bournemouth has a lot to offer for any conference goer. It's got great incentives. It's got boutique hotels, it's got four star hotels, it's got five star hotels. It's got the lot. If you want to learn more about the town for your next conference, you can visit businesseventsbournemouth.org.uk. And if you want to learn more about the conferences industry, you can visit conference-news.co.uk. Until then, I'll see you all next time.